कुमार सर सर आई ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ माई पार्टी बीजू जनता दल स्टैंड टू सपोर्ट द अमेंडमेंट बिल विच हैज बिन ब्रॉड टू रिवैम्प द वर्किंग ऑफ द थ्री प्रोफेशनल बॉडीज इन अ रिप्लाई इन लोकसभा द ऑनरेबल फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर हैज एसर्टेड दैट दिस अमेंडमेंट बिल विल नॉट इन्फ्लिंज ऑन द ऑटोनोमी ऑफ दिस थ्री इंस्टीट्यूट एंड आई हैव नो रीजन टू डाउट हर एसर्सन राधर सर आई फील द अमेंडमेंट्स विल मेक दिस थ्री बॉडीज मोर अकाउंटेबल एंड अनेबल दम टू एडॉप्ट ग्लोबल बेस्ट प्रैक्टिस एंड ऑल्सो रिफॉर्म एंड स्पीड ऑफ द डिसिप्लिनरी मैकेनिज्म ऑफ दिस इंस्टीट्यूट सर द डिसिप्लिनरी ट्रैक रिकॉर्ड ऑफ एटलीस्ट वन ऑफ दिस इंस्टीट्यूट द इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ चार्टेड अकाउंटेंट्स ऑफ इंडिया हैज कम अंडर द स्कैनर इन रिसेंट मंथ्स एंड नो लेस दैन दूल प्राइम मिनिस्टर हैज फ्लैग इट वंस एट द टाइम ऑफ लॉन्च ऑफ द जी एस टी सर द स्टेटमेंट ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट्स एंड रीजन्स ऑफ द बिल स्टेट्स दैट इट सिक्स टू एड्रेस द कॉन्फ्लिक्ट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट बिटवीन द एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव एंड द डिसिप्लिनरी आर्म्स ऑफ द इंस्टीट्यूट टू अचीव दिस द बिल प्रपोजेज टू चेंज द कॉम्पोजिशन ऑफ द टू डिसिप्लिनरी एंटिटीज द डिसिप्लिनरी बोर्ड एंड द कमिटी टू अलाउ फॉर मोर एक्सटर्नल रिप्रेजेंटेशन सर हियर आई वुड लाइक टू वेरी रिस्पेक्टफुली डिसग्री विथ माई फॉर्मर स्पीकर्स वेरी एडुडाइट एंड वेरी लर्न स्पीकर्स सुरेश प्रभु जी ऑनरेबल मेम्बर हनुमंत्या जी एंड ऑल्सो मिस्टर पी वल्स विल्सन हु हैव एप्रीहेंशन दैट नॉन सी एस शुड नॉट बी मेम्बर्स ऑफ द डिसिप्लिनरी कमिटी एंड दे हैव आर्ग्यूड हाउ कैन सच ए टेक्निकल सब्जेक्ट एज अकाउंटेंसी बी अंडरस्टूड बाई नॉन सी एस सर वेरी रिस्पेक्टफुली आई डिस्क्री विद दम दिस इज अकिन टू सेंग दैट ओनली ए चार्टेड अकाउंटेंट इज कॉम्पिटेंट टू अंडरस्टैंड मैटर्स ऑफ disciplinary proceedings because disciplinary proceedings by very nature are non adversarial in nature and they are based on the principles of natural justice so sir if a doctor if a person who is not a, is not a doctor can make a good uh, health minister if a person who is not an electrical engineer can make a good power minister why can't a non ca be part of the disciplinary committee because it's at the end of the day based on principles of natural justice sir the bill also seeks to achieve speedy disposal of cases by providing for time bound disposal of cases sir the parliamentary standing committee which had deliberated this uh, bill at length and applied its mind has also supported the amendments uh, i will thank uh, honorable suresh prabhu ji because we had read in media that the icai had raised serious objections to the amendments but he has clarified that it's not the case but both icsi and the cost accountants institute do not have any objection so the parliamentary committee also has suggested setting up of indian institutes of accounting iis on the lines of the iits and iims so i think it's an innovative idea which should be explored by the government because it will end the icis statutory monopo monopoly over certification it will also sir bring in greater competition and also greatly enhance the quality of accounting education in our country i think this will also make the profession of accounting more inclusive because more people can join uh, iias if they are set up sir uh, the bill increases certain fines under the three acts so now if a partner or an owner of a firm is found repeatedly indulging in some misconduct then disciplinary action can be taken against the firm sir another welcome step is to change the nomenclature of cost and work accountants act 1959 to to cost accountants act 1959 and also to rename the institute of cost and works accountant to institute of cost accountants sir i am not sure why the word work was included in the first place but anyway it has been omitted now please uh, sir, honorable sir, speaker please uh, sir, just wind up now please wind up sir, sir, sir i am concluding sir the firms can also now firms must must also now register with the institutes so this will enable the uh, disciplinary mechanism also for the firms sir i think sir these three acts were enacted decades ago when the business and the corporate landscape of the country was much different and has uh, transformed uh, uh, quite quite uh, quite a bit now so sir i think the need for this amendment is very much there and also this recent corporate events like the ilnfs case has put the profession of chartered accountancy under a uh, serious scrutiny so sir i think 
these amendments will certainly improve the administrative accountability and governance mechanism and also help in the ease of doing business process and also help sir in uh, achieving india reach the target of the 5 trillion dollar economy that we have been talking about so i support the bill thank you thank you sujit kumar ji uh, the next speaker is ayodhya rami reddy i believe uh, this bill